a major investigation into one of the most notorious gangs on the New Haven streets is now over. Yeah, Operation Red Side. Authorities say the gang members responsible for several cold case murders are all behind bars now tonight. News 8's Jackie Slater live for us in New Haven with that story. Jackie. Darren, guns, drugs, murders, it almost sounds a little bit like a movie. Now, the police say that the New Haven-based gang is actually part of a national gang known as the Bloods. But tonight, they believe that their activities here in the city have ceased, and they say that the streets are safer because of that. Earlier today, the 21st defendant in the Red Side Gorilla Brims case pled guilty. Case closed. U.S. Attorney Deirdre Daly announcing today the investigation into the Red Side Gorilla Brims is over. Their gang members found guilty in seven murders, four attempted murders, and four armed robberies in New Haven. Red Side is a brutal and cold blooded gang that created a climate of terror in the streets of New Haven in 2011 and 2012. In 2011, there were 34 homicides in the Elm City. These five victims, all at the hands of gang members, now facing some serious jail time. That year, New Haven ranked fourth for homicides per capita, kicking off a big push. Push to lower violent crime rates. New Haven police joined forces with neighboring departments and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and started what was called Operation Red Side. Authorities learned gang members were bringing drugs to Maine, selling them for guns, and bringing the guns back to New Haven. Over the next two years, 21 arrests and now convictions related to the investigation. The ringleader, Jeffrey Benton of New Haven, sentenced on Friday to 30 to 40 years in prison. Today, Daly praised the efforts of everyone involved. There's a remarkably positive culture here in law enforcement in New Haven in which it is not based on holding back information. There is an open communication and sharing of information. New Haven has seen a drastic drop in violent crime figures. Last year, just 13 homicides. And it's relatively safe. It's a good place to live. and. Uh... I think generally the police do a good job. I mean, I think the police around here, they do the, a good job too. Officers say the lower stats and improved public opinion can be directly tracked to efforts like Operation Red Side. Acting Police Chief Anthony Campbell saying this case should serve as a stern warning to would be criminals. If you go down that path, it's a path that leads to destruction. You will be caught and you will serve the time for doing the crime. Don't even do it because we will get you, period. And the sentences for the gang members vary, but Attorney Daly says that they are federal convictions. That means they are not eligible for parole. Many of the members will serve upwards of 30 years in prison. Reporting live in New Haven tonight, Jackie Slater, News 8.